Okay, as you can see, I cleaned all the shims. So everybody wonders how I do it. I did take the chain off of here, but you don't have to. Uh, if you leave the chain on here, leave the bear string in there, the bolts in it, and I can slide everything off this side. Everybody says, oh, well, this is shaft in your way. The shaft goes to the gearbox, and not really. Um, so I use a small pry bar, and you're not prying this up very high at all. And uh, what you do is just pry down on it, and, uh, and see how it slides by? I pried the shaft up a little bit. Been doing this for a long, long time. I got my new keyway right there. And it's trying to get locked in. And then what I'll do is I'll adjust this. But uh, what you got to do, guys, when you set these knotter halves up, is you got to get the holder of the knotter lined up. See, they're straight. But I also the edge of this lines up with the edge of the bail chamber down there. And I usually run the needles up through to get them shimmed correctly here from back. But remember, behind here, there's no counter pin, so you stack this knotter cam all the way against it, and then you stack everything else against it from there. And you see I shim it as I come out. I cleaned all the grease and stuff out the shims, pounded a couple of them that were bent back straight again. And, and I work from one end, work my way all the way out. And then uh, I will show you guys, uh, there's a timing mark right here as you can see and that lines up with the timing mark inside there so but this is on a 24t 224 this will work for